This is a uh, Cumberland County 4-H workshop day. Um, they're doing lots of different green energy related things. Our project specifically is this 4-H Power of the Wind program. We had about 30 minutes. We had four sessions of 30 minutes. Um, in each session we had about five to eight kids and we decided to make uh, pinwheels, just a very common arts and craft type activity. But then we also allowed them to see exactly what a pinwheel can do. Um, we had them hook up their pinwheels to a multimeter, showed them that they were creating electricity, and then after that we had them hook that up to a music making machine. And with the power that they generated with their pinwheel, they were able to play a song. And it was a lot of fun, a lot of hands-on arts and crafts stuff, but we also were able to teach them just kind of how a windmill and wind tur turbine can generate electricity. So we're going to make a pinwheel, all right? You're going to cut your pattern out, and then we'll help you fold the, the corners in. We'll uh, stick a pin through it, and then we'll put it on the end of a pencil. We have two patterns. So you can choose whether you want to use this or this. This is going to have four blades, and this is going to have how many? Three blades. All right, let's see. There you go. We talk about engineering and how engineers work is uh, they'll design something and then after they design it, they go back and they, they look at it and they adjust things and make it work better, which is what you've just done here, right? You made something, you realized it didn't work as well as you want, so you went back, you changed something, make it work a little bit better, and, and if we have more time, we could keep doing that. We could keep playing with it, tinkering and you know stuff like that. Now when the fan, when the pinwheel spins, the motor inside is going to spin and it's going to make electricity, okay? And we can measure the electricity on this. 1.3 volts of electricity, 1.3637 I saw, you guys see that? That actually is enough to light up a tiny little light bulb. We have a light, a flashing light, and this is the little music player, okay? so. Really, you only need about one volt. We were getting two volts with this, so we ought to have some good power coming in here, right? Can you guys hear that, though? Yeah, I can. It's loud. We got a little music coming through. It's getting louder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now let's try the light. Can you see a flash there? It's not very. It's not very bright. You couldn't. Uh, a little bit. You couldn't signal the boats of the lighthouse, you know. But <laughs> and see yeah, the other one. And another light. Yeah. <clears throat> That's all coming from his windmill here. His uh, pinwheel. And see, hers is going really good too. Hers is going probably as fast. And see, when you want to make electricity, you got to go fast. And see, hers is going fast. This is going fast. Yeah, hers was. Her, yours is probably putting out a couple volts too if we hooked up to a motor. This we feel kind of gives them a good kind of foundation. You know, it's talking about wind energy. Okay, so wind, it makes these things spin. It pushes a sailboat. You know, it lifts a load. It's not just you build this thing and you have electricity. You know, it's kind of giving them a little bit of the engineering and I don't want to say not the physics behind it, but kind of explains how it works and, and what exactly is is happening and with these younger kids I think that's more of our goal uh, is just building that foundation you know so that hopefully the next time they drive by Mars Hill Wind Farm they get you know they look at it a little bit differently and they they have a better idea of what exactly is happening out there with the wind blowing and spinning the, the blades.